Okay, this document goes over the loan history that I received in 2017 from uh, the mortgage loan that uh, uh, from 2007 to 2008. And as you can see here, everything was going fine. Payments are on time, 110 of 07. We have payments here for 212 of 07. Everything's going just fine. And uh, moving along up until I get this next one. Okay, then I received this letter right here. And in this letter, I call this the February Valentine's Sweetheart Letter. Uh, received uh, February 11th, uh, pretty close to Valentine's Day there, in that I owe them $9,900 in past due payments. So, and then uh, shortly after that, we received the second letter. Okay, and this one here is uh, the kicker here. This one, um, it says here that this is my special, special for business plan, okay? Now, um, keep in mind, I'm not late on any of my payments, but I get this special plan for me. And uh, well, let's see what's so special about it. This one says um, that I'm currently, your loan is due for six installments, November 1st through April uh, 2008. As agreed, promise, blah, 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 payments, uh, resolve your finances, etc. Okay, we will instruct you, uh, we want, uh, we will uh, instruct our foreclosure counsel to uh, suspend foreclosure proceedings once this initial payment has been received. Okay, so now we'll take a look at this uh, initial payment that they would like. Okay, but before I show you their um, their next wonderful offer on uh, my initial payments uh, that I need to send them, my normal mortgage payment is two thousand four nine seven point fifty seven. So that's the number we want to focus on because it won't change. Okay, now let's see what my new special letter is uh, asking me to pay. Okay, moving right along here. Now, this um, this is, again, this is our special um, forbearance agreement terms and conditions. Now, um, remember I was paying 2700 blah, blah, blah a month. And um, now um, it says this, uh, uh, your loan is in default, okay? Remember, I paid all my payments on time, which I'll uh, back that up here shortly. Um, your understanding and acceptance, uh, da, 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 da. and so now my new plan is I need to pay three thousand, and then number two, um, uh, we're going to pay three thousand eight hundred, and then uh, 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 number four on up to twenty thousand now a month. So this is the special agreement now terms on uh, uh, the scenario, which I'm not late at all anyway. So. Uh, moving right along, and um, keep in mind that this is, uh, no, there's no grace period here allowance in this agreement. All payments must be on or before agreed due date. Well, you know, I agreed to the 2700 which I followed that agreement through the entire loan. But uh, uh, unfortunately, Wells Fargo chose not to follow that agreement. So um, they they not only didn't they follow it, but they decided to make up a new plan for me. And this was the big one. Okay, now let's move forward. So keep in mind uh, these dates here that they want, uh, they're saying I'm behind um, from November on. Okay, so November on, I owe them money. So uh, we're going to look back now and go back to the um, beginning with this uh, loan history documents and let's take a look and see what really happened okay we're moving right along here again so now we're at this uh loan history documents and this is going to go over the details on uh my payment history that they received on their end okay moving right along here so what you want to pay attention to on this document is the amount received 
and uh, take a look at the um, PROC date. That's the processing date. So, um, as you can see in this one, 12 10, that's 2006. They received a payment and they also received a payment on 12 11. Okay, that's 2006. So, there's uh, already we can see that um, everything is moving fine. So, on 11 10, they received a payment. I'm sorry, and on 12 11, a payment. So, what we're going to do is start off with the 2007 and go from there. Okay, we're moving right along here. So, now we start off with a Payment received for 110 amount received. All the green ones are the ones where they received. So then we go to 212 payment received. And then we make sure it's adjusted over here as well. So um, 312 payment received. And on 312, they went ahead and um, uh, on 326, they went ahead and for some reason subtracted that one. So 327 payment, 410 payment, and uh, 511 payment. And we have one subtraction there as well. Okay, we're moving right along. So we left off our last payment over there was on 51, and we have another second payment on 51. Okay, and 61, 629, 81, and uh, down here at the bottom. Down here at the bottom, we have uh, 831 payment. Okay, if you see that one, 831 payment at the bottom, right down there, 831. Okay, and we have one subtraction there. And we're going to count these all up once we get done. We're almost at the end of the year now. And only one more to go here. And on this particular one here, you can see... Um, that payments were made on 1019 at the top there, 112 and 1112, and one subtraction there on 1115. Okay, so now let's go back and count uh, all these uh, payments and see what we come up with. Okay, we're starting in January. We have uh, here one, two, three, four, five, six payments on this page. Six payments and two subtraction and the next page we have here we have here five one six so this leaves us with seven eight nine ten eleven payments now and um one subtraction and now we're at 12 13 14 payments and one subtraction Okay, so 14 payments so far made, and they have a total of, and how things look so far is 14 payments were made in 2007, and uh, they subtracted four of those, so that equals 10 payments, correct? Okay, now let's go over um, the payments that they failed to add, and exactly what you should be looking for. Okay, we're back at the beginning here now, and what we're going to look for is ones that didn't show up now. On 110, you'll see a payment there. Now, you'll see on this statement here where it shows that a payment for received in the top right corner. You see here it says uh, uh, the date in here. You have the date 110 of 07, and then you go over here and you'll see that the payment's made and uh, payments received no late charges, so on and so forth. And the chain is 110, okay? Now that's one payment we know that went through fine. Now, again, we're looking at that 110 payment that went through fine. And now let's take a look at a bank statement here. Now, this particular statement shows, let's go down here and show some dates here and some times. Okay. Now, this one shows that... Uh, we have a payment right there where it says uh, 116. Do you see that 116 there where it says Wells Fargo Home Loan Mortgage and it says $2,000? Well, that was a auto mortgage pay, okay? Then one on top of it that 
it said non-sufficient fund item return, but this one went through on 116. Now let's go back and take a look at this here. Do you see a credit here for 116? I certainly don't. I see a payment for 212 is the next payment. You see where it says processing date, processing date. I don't see any payment for 116, 212. Okay, it's the next one. So that's one payment they missed. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, if you'll take a look at this date right here, it says 326. And if you look closely, you'll see how much money they received on 326 zero. Not only did they not receive any money on 326, they're stating here, but they actually withdraw. They put a negative in there. They decided to go backwards, even though I have not been late once yet. But on 326, they decided to go backwards. And I made my payment on time on 312 here. For whatever reason, we still don't know why. Insane. So now let's go ahead and take a look at my payment that I made on 326. This is a receipt of a cash payment. This here is my name. It says uh, Timothy Brown here, believe it or not. And this is a blown up version. And then you'll see here on this date here, it shows, what's that date say? 326, 326. And how much did I pay? I paid that much. This is an actual Wells Fargo bank record where I went and paid cash. And now let's scroll down here. Scroll down here, and as you can see, that's what it looks like. There's transaction numbers, everything you need to know. And there's the account number, and the payment was made on 326. Cash walked in to this uh, John, whatever teller's name is, okay? Now, let's go back and take a look at what they gave me for 326. Um, those uh, kind-hearted kind -hearted folks. For 326, they gave me zero. Okay, not only did they give me zero, but they went ahead and subtracted my last payment. Not good. That was only uh, a short period of time, 12 to 26. It's only a week or two. Uh, so God knows why that went in reverse. Now, but they did credit me for 327. So we're just going to assume that that 326 payment is for 327. We'll even give them that, okay? So, so far, they are uh, missed one payment so far, and now they've subtracted one payment. So that's uh, two payments, right? Okay, moving right along. Okay, the next one we're going to take a look at is for August 3rd, okay? So... If you look there, you'll see a August 3rd where it says zero. Okay, we're moving right along here. And you'll see where we have a payment here for uh, 5161, 629. They did another reverse here. And we're at August 1st, okay? So August 1st, that's fine. We see that uh, we have paid, and this is my Bank of America printout showing payments I've made. And they said I made a payment for August 1st. Sure enough, payment August 1st. Okay, now let's take a look at the next one. Um, we have payment for August 31st, right? August 31st. Let's take a look there, and sure enough, August 31st, payment Went out of my checking account. But now, let's take a closer look at this. You have August 31st, August 1st. But now, what happened to August 3rd payment? Payment there. Says payment and says paid, right? Now, let's take a look and see if they actually credited my account for this August 3rd one. August 1st, yes. August 2nd, no. August 31st, yes. August 3rd, nothing there. So from August 1st and August 31st, we see a payment. That's it. Okay, another payment missed. Okay, so now we are uh, moving right along here. Now we've gotten into um, August. Now we're moving into 9-5. If you'll see down here at the bottom, it says, Nine five, and then you'll see the amount that they received zero. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and go back um, to this wonderful September 11th. Now we're at one year now into this uh, mortgage of payment where I put down 87000 and I've made all these payments, okay? Now, um, what does this say? Uh, we see 950 there, correct? I see on my Bank of America payment, um, we have a 95 here, Wells Fargo Home Mortgage Payment. And for the exact amount that's required for this loan, okay? So they received that money on 95, okay? And uh, 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 for some odd reason, it is not credited. See that? 950. Okay, we're moving right along. As you can see, they didn't credit the last one for 95. And um, now we're going over, moving right along. And as you can see, there was no, nothing credited here for 97. So they just totally missed that last payment. Okay, moving right along. 1019, they received a payment. Let's take a look at how I paid that one. Okay, these payments were made through 1019. Payment made, it was made by a check. And this payment was done through a line of credit um, right here. That's the line of credit number and uh, that I have paid in full. Never was laid on it and paid this thing in its entirety. Okay, now let's see the next payment. 1019 is marked there. Yes, they got that one. Now let's take a look at this. November 5th, um, right there it says here uh, on this one here, November 5th. Okay, you see that number five, I made another payment. I wrote a check from this line of credit that I paid in full, check number 1012, okay? Now, let's see if they credit us for that. So, we have 11-2 payment, they gave me that one, and uh, it says that's paid in full. And we have 11-12 payment, okay? That's paid in full. But, what happened to 11-5? It's not there. So that yet is a, another payment that was missed. Okay, and the next one we're going to look at here is a payment that was done on 11-10. Okay, this particular payment, as you can see here, 11-10, I don't see any, I see 11-12. We, you know, we missed 11-5. Uh, so let's take a look at the 11-10 payment. Here is a payment that went through as you can see from my checking account, on this date, 11-10, uh, we have here, 11-10, uh, Wells Fargo mortgage payment, okay, with the actual account number and everything. So, we know what payment was done on 11-10 on this particular one, okay? Thank you. This is um, this one covers for 2006. So um, actually, we don't we need to scratch that one because we're only covering 2007. Okay. So now, so far, what we have is we have, and as I can pull this up here, you can see we have in this particular case, we have uh, 14 payments received. We have, um, they've subtracted five for some odd reason. And uh, I have, uh, uh, they've subtracted four. I've added five here of the ones that were missed. That's 15 payments made in 2007, okay? And um, uh, we have uh, uh, 12 months in a year. So obviously it's been overpaid. So I went over those payments with you and that was 116, 326, August 3rd, 9-5, and 11-5. Okay, now, um, so that equals three payments overpaid. So that equals to January of 08. And uh, my payments are paid up to January of 08. So now let's go back here and see what they were saying. So, and of course, this lovely letter says that I owe them from uh, November 1st on. Remember, I've been paid up till January in advance. So, uh, this is clearly wrong, and then they bump up the rates. That's really a sad, sad story. And, of course, I've made complaints. 
way back from, as you can see, this date, April 18, 2008. Dave would look into it, look into it, but uh, never really does, and that's the account number. I've sent in faxes of the receipts. Basically, this is stacks and stacks of uh, dates and letters of times that I've sent in trying to correct this problem. June 12th, April 18th, 2017, November 1st, 2018, August 2018, June 15th, 2017, uh, September 25th. I've sent it fax, June of, uh, 2016. I mean, I've sent them tons of receipts. Still, they can't get right. I've also sent in a uh, request from the Consumer Financial Protection Agency. And of course, that doesn't go well either because I'll tell you a little secret. They do not help individual complaints. So forget filing with them. It's useless. I have also tried, uh, as you can see, January 30th, 2018, Office of Control of Currency, Office of Control 3rd, February 27, 2018. And now we're moving right along. So we've covered 2007. And now we're moving to 2008. Now what I'd like to do is move you into this corner here. Where you can see there where it says, again, amount received, processing date. Now, what does that date say? 123. This is for 2008, keep in mind. This is 2008, as you can see here, in this little corner here. 2008. Now, 123, they received $8,376.62. They received a second payment in February, $815. Now, the reason why I made that one for $815 instead of the usual amount was... The room number is 815, so I remember even making that payment. And this is, um, keep in mind, after they have uh, sent me my my uh, love letter of forbiddance letter that uh, they're only accepting $20,000 a month, you know. And um, so, now we are uh, moving right along here. And here is some of their responses. Um, here's one, uh, October 30th, 2008, actually. Eight, uh, uh, it says October 30th and uh, on. This letter here, it says, uh, this letter is a response to your October 9, 2018 letter on October 29th. It's very simple. You agree the payment was received on November 2nd, 2007, correct? That's me asking her, right? And then this is her response. Below is your response, how she responded back to me. She says, we can confirm that uh, payment was applied to, to the account on that same day, November 2nd, 2007, okay? Um, and then, so I repeat, Wells Fargo's response is that they received the payment. So we can confirm that we received November 2nd. Okay, so why does the April 2008 demand letter sent to myself, Tim Brown, say that payment is due November 1st, 2007. So she's even admitted here that she received a payment for November 2nd. I know that they received it. So um, and then it says past due November uh, 1st and on, right? Remember? So um, I don't get this at all. Um, so my letter back to them is... Um, the, develop, uh, the demand letter when they sent me saying way back when that I owe from November on, um, it, it, it was sent in April of 2008, okay? That left them four or five months here to think about um, uh, asking for a payment that they received actually on November 2nd. Remember, she agreed, Wells Fargo, 2018 agreed. So customer paid on November 2nd. So why in April... 2008, the uh, bank, uh, Wells Fargo, is asking for another payment in November 2007. So um, basically, they want to get double paid on that one. The bank agreed in 2018 that um, it has received that uh, payment and payment went through and was credited to the loan property. 
So why are they asking for a payment uh, the day before then? Um, hopefully it's pretty clear where the problem was. So, of course, then I wrote back, I said, now, uh, what does this do about the credibility of the demand letter um, going into default and foreclosure letter? Um, it makes it okay to ask for more money for payments that uh, you have already received? Um, I don't think so. So, in uh, July, they went ahead and foreclosed on my birthday, July 10th, and took the property. Now, as you can see here, um, uh, their response back to all these missed payments is... is um, we respectfully uh, deny the allegations that um, you were foreclosed on incorrectly. And we could confirm all received payments have been applied accurately. I showed them five that weren't there, okay? We regret this is not the outcome you expected. Too bad we just took your house. And then, of course, as she moves right along, she uh, repeats herself. She says, going forward here, um, we recognize you believe payments were misapplied. Yes, of course, we said that and, and not applied to your account. And we confirmed that the payments were accurately applied. No, they were not. We regret that this isn't the outcome. This isn't the outcome. Well, yes, you wrote that up here, too. Um, the outcome that you uh, wanted so um, or expected and uh, uh, if you'd like to uh, request additional documents um, and do further research you may uh, reach out to me blah 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 okay this is dated uh, October 9 2018 they still cannot get this correct and this one here shows actually the um, IRS document here, it shows, uh, uh, it's the Franchise Tax Board, and it shows here the actual uh, payments uh, received in interest for this loan. 1098 for room, 22500 Obviously, I paid something in 2007 on. Now, moving right along, remember the dates here. This is the most important dates. It says November 1st, 2007, that um, I'm currently, your loan is passed. Loan is due for six installments. Obviously, I showed you 15 installments, so for uh, a 2007. Now, let's just go ahead and look back at one of their uh, other documents I came across here. Now, what does this say here? It says, um, it says, 5-1 of 07 on up to 4-1 of 08. Now, remember, they said, I'm past due and it's going into foreclosure. What does this say here? It says 11-12, payment. Okay, payment received. This is for this loan number, okay? Now, what does this say? 11-2, right? She confirmed that the payment went through. Uh, uh, another payment. So, what is going on here? What, they just want more and more money? Should I just keep sending them more money? Because they can't even follow their own documents? So I'm going to close this off today with um, with the uh, summary that I came up with here. And that is that they uh, show 14 payments on their end. Um, and I'm being generous with this too, by the way. And they've subtracted four for odd reasons. Who knows why? Like I went over that one on 326. And then uh, five payments, uh, I had not been credited. So that leaves us a 14 minus four, that equals 10. And then we add five, that's 15 payments made in 2007. Insane, okay? And they still can't get right. Those are the payments that they did not apply. Okay, um, now, what would you do? And that's just for 2007. We didn't go into 2008 uh, that they kept accepting money there. And uh, uh, supposedly, you know, and then a few months later, they take the house. Now, is this really fair? And don't forget, when I first bought the place, I put down this amount of money, $78,000, 9-11-2006. What, a year later, they took the whole thing away. So again, so I lose all this money. I lose the, the uh my down payment on it for $78,000 and uh, all those 15 payments made, 15 in 2007, by the time uh, June comes around, uh, the house is July 10th, the house is gone. They've sold it to someone else. 
So I lose uh, all those payments for that year and a half and this deposit. Now, um, uh, to this day, they refuse to even um, think that this is anything wrong with that. They're okay with receiving triple payments, quadruple payments, and it's still not enough. So um, anything you can do to help out, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your time and effort. Now you know what to look for with me.